Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So I am back today with another eye look from the uh, Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright Rich in Color Palette. If you guys have not seen any of the other videos, we've currently filmed two of them. I did very first, I did a red eye look using uh, mainly these colors, a little bit of this up here. It was mainly just kind of this, this like little triangle of goodness right here. Yesterday we did a really gorgeous neon eye look that was very 80s inspired using these and these. Today uh, I'm going to do a purple eye look to uh, to show you guys once again how many different eye looks you can create using just one palette and that is going to consist mainly of like reckless, birthday cake, wifey, uh, maybe a little bit of fruit punch because there's a really pretty pink aspect of that brightness. It may like be a cool blending shade. Um, we've got this pink's poppin and taste the rainbow. And then down here we've got dessert, which is kind of a dark glitter purple shade. I think all of those are going to assist nicely in making a really cool, fun purple eye look. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, I would recommend going and looking at those because I've created some really cool eye looks making uh, with this palette so far, namely being the neon one. Honestly, that one was like by far one of my favorite looks I've done in a while, so. Uh, yeah, other than that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, maybe consider doing that too, because we're fun here and we're uh, posting content like crazy people because uh, we have a lot of free time to do so. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna jump into some uh, some purpley eye looks today. So I'm gonna start off with, I'm actually gonna start off with Fruit Punch, which is that very vibrant pink shade that I showed you guys that I was like, I may use this. I think that's gonna be a really cool like wide shade. And then I think it'll be very nice to kind of get darker shades that blend into it. But I think as an initial, pop this is gonna really work and i really like it so far i have said now using this this palette having used this palette twice i love the matte shades a lot they are gorgeous they're easy to blend like super easy to blend and they just have such a rich payoff with a very little amount of application effort and um also a little amount of like brush swirling and, and all of that. Like you really don't have to dig your brush hard into it to get some color payoff, which is a, a huge thing in my opinion. That being said, the glitter shades are not my favorites. I think that they might work very nicely. Like I honestly would probably grab this palette and use some of the bright shades in it and then go for my glitter shades and grab like my Moon Dust palette from Urban Decay, one of the ones that I really, really, truly love for shimmer shades. But that being said, it's not that you can't use them. It's just, they're not my favorites, but the the, other, the, these bright, vibrant colors are just oh, absolutely gorgeous. All right, got a great, nice, wide base of that pink going on. So now we're gonna go in with Reckless, which is that dark purple shade that really was what made me wanna do a purple eye look with this because I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. I took a little bit of the pink and I'm just going in to underline the purple that I've been using on my under eye just to give it a little bit of like a dimension of colors rather than just being one flat color down there. I do want to stop and kind of blend out this because it got a little bit messy on my corner out here. But life ain't perfect. I'm actually gonna go in now with this pink is poppin, which is like a lighter pink shade. And I'm gonna do just a little bit kind of blending into it, just neutralizing it a slight amount. Like I said, I've said it in the other two videos. I don't know if I've said it yet in this one. This is a super easy to blend palette. All these colors work really well together. The formula really is very susceptible to easy blending, I guess is the right way to, to phrase it. But it basically like you can blend it so simply and have very minimalistic edges, really cohesive colors that are just absolutely com complimentary and gorgeous, easy to, to work with, which is why I've decided that I'm going to do so many eye looks with this one palette, because I really think that it's very much a good investment for anybody who is looking for a palette that is going to involve a little bit of bright colors and give you guys something to play with and work with. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Heligant, which is just a light kind of taupey shade. And I'm just gonna kind of do a little bit here to kind of give this a little bit more shape and make it a little bit less messy. I'm gonna do a little bit of that same shade up here. And that is a really nice neutralizing shade. I mean, it really does a great job of it. So now, I've got a lot of colors that I pointed out that I haven't worked with yet, but now I'm actually gonna go in with Birthday Cake, which is the lightest shimmery purple shade. This this shade, Birthday Cake, is almost, it almost is just like a lavender shade. It doesn't look super reflective, but the closer you get to it, the more you can tell that there is some shimmer aspects of it. So I sometimes I would go in and I would actually like neutralize my area using concealer or 
eyeshadow um, primer or something to kind of give it more of a neutral base, but I would like to see how they just kind of melt together. So I didn't do that. So I'm just going to head and add in just like a little bit. And I put it across my whole eye instead of just doing my inner corner or my lid. And I like a lot how that, um, how that played off. I think what I'm gonna do is put this as a neutralizing light shade on my whole lid. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of one of the high pigmented glitter shades on top of it. Okay, on top of it, I didn't point the shade out, so I'm going to go ahead to, on top of it, we're gonna do uh, wow. I think it's like W-A-O-W, so like wow with an extra A in there to, to pop it out. Um, but this is a loose glitter pigment, so I'm expecting it's just gonna kind of sporadically apply, which is what's happened with the other loose glitter pigments that I've used from Makeup Revolution which is exactly what I, I tried to use a, br a brush. That was my first mistake. So we're gonna try it. Yeah, that, that's got better payoff. And I'm just gonna do like a little bit kind of right here. I'm gonna make it a little messy because it applies kind of just very sporadically. So I'm okay with it looks a little bit like, whew. but it's pretty, I like what it's done. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit on my flat brush that I used to uh, kind of go in and even it up. I take a little bit more of that light pink shade, the pink's poppin. And I'm just gonna do a little bit up here to try and make the purple line a little bit less harsh. So that's what we're looking at right now. Let me put on some mascara so we can see really how it pays off. Oh, actually I lied. I have been, every time I've used this palette, I have used the shimmering shade, which is the white shade at the very top in the corner, just as like a little highlight along my brow bone and then a little highlight on my inner corner. And it's really been a very nice finish to the look. So I'm gonna do that again today just for consistency and because I really like how it always uh, it seems to tie everything together. All right, now I'm gonna go put some mascara on and we're gonna see the final product and how it looks. Um, I really like this palette. This is my third eye look on camera with this palette, which is a big deal for me. Normally I do uh, first impressions and I try and just use new palettes and give you guys some insight on like my first responses of how I like palettes and stuff like that. It's not that I'm tied only to that. I am okay doing absolutely anything in, as long as it meets my comfort level. Uh, Cause I will never say that I'm a perfect makeup artist. Uh, I would not even call myself a makeup artist, but as a makeup enthusiast who has a lot of products and who has worked very hard to, uh, to not be terrible, I don't normally do this kind of thing because I want you guys to see a bunch of different products and get some insight as to whether or not there are things that you would like to pick up. But this one really, the first time I used it, I was just like, wow, there's so much you can do with this one. And I really like how it works, how the colors blend well together. It's very easy to use. Each of these eye looks has taken me like maybe 10 minutes all said and done, which is a pretty big deal. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe 10 to 15 minutes just on some of them just to give it some cushion room. But overall, it's been a very quick application product pro process for each one of these. And so I think that also speaks to how easy it is to use if you're not really trying to like sit here and blend and make sure the colors work together and they're not chalky and there's not a whole lot of fallout. And I think that this is uh, definitely a palette that gives you all of those, those really nice aspects of it. All right, so this is our final look with this palette. This is look number three. I just really like it. I really do. I mean, they're definitely bold, uh, exaggerated colors. They're definitely hyper pigmented. Um, the glitter shades still are the my least favorite of what's included here. That being said, I really enjoy how everything plays together. And I don't think that the glitter pigments, whether or not they're the best, are, are worth not purchasing this palette. So once again, this is the palette. I'm gonna hold it up this way so you can see this is mainly the color area that we were in today. Yeah, I really like it. I hope you guys enjoy seeing me do multiple looks with the same palette. I know it, like I said, it's very different from what we normally try and do on the, the channel, but it's something that I think is useful if you're looking at investing in a palette and you can see the different ways you can use it and different eye looks you can create with it. Um, tomorrow, I plan on doing a more neutralized version of this uh, palette. There's a couple really beautiful light brown shades here. This one I think is gonna be able to assist well. I really like the shade down here too. So I think there's some neutral eye looks that you could do that are not this like statement piece eye, eye product. 
And I think it's it's necessary to show that aspect of this palette as well. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It will definitely help the channel out. And other than that, I hope you guys are just staying really safe and healthy in this crazy time. And uh, you're just remembering to keep peace and love uh, towards others in your heart because we're only going to make it through this if we can stick together as a people. So I love you guys all. I'm praying for you all. And other than that, I just hope you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.